All right, Algebra 2, we're going to be doing a quiz review for these rationals 9-1 and 9-2. Um, I'm not going to be working every single problem. I'll be working maybe half of them, and maybe not even that much, but I'm going to help you get through the hard steps. Uh, there's two things you should think of when you see uh, solving rationals. Number one is common denominators, and number two is making sure you understand that the denominator can never actually equal to zero. So I'm going to start with that part on number one. The first part I'm going to start with on number one is, oh, excuse me for that, is I'm going to start with uh, what it can't equal. So here we go. And this is the same for every problem. You look at the original denominator. So here's the original denominators right here, these two things. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set them equal to zero, and then I'm going to solve. So here it goes like this, x plus 3 equals zero. Um, check out the first one, x equals zero. Wow, that's great, but there's something wrong with this, and you have to remember what it is. Remember, when we're solving the denominators like this, we're solving for what it cannot be. It cannot equal zero. If I plugged in a zero here, boom, it would break. So x plus 3 equals 0. Uh, that's this denominator. I'm going to go ahead and solve that. I subtract the 3 on both sides, and now I have x equals negative 3. But again, we're solving what the denominators cannot be. So don't forget this. x cannot equal negative 3. So that's the first part for this problem. And you will end up putting the answers down here. x cannot equal 0. x cannot equal negative 3. But as you know, I need my space to work. So I'm going to switch to black ink now. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, erase this, actually, so that I can have my working space. I'm going to erase this little things here. And now, here we go. How do I do this problem? My very first step, uh, step is, is I set up my skeleton. And what do I mean by that? I mean, I have to actually, I usually like lining up the equal sign, but I typically have to recreate it, my own work. What I mean by creating my skeleton is, I'm going to redraw every fraction with bigger fraction bars. And that allows me to change my numerator that's the top of the fraction, and my denominator, that's the bottom of my fraction, it allows me to change it any way I need to. So the common denominator in this one is, you look at all the pieces. I have an x and an x plus 3. So every common denominator needs to have that in there. So I'm going to switch to purple now. Uh, what am I missing on this side? I am missing x plus 3. I am missing x plus 3. So if I did it on the bottom, I must do it on the top. And the top is called numerator. Uh, over here on this side, um, I have an x plus 3, but I'm missing my x, so I'm going to add my x, and if I do it to the denominator, that's the bottom, i got to do it to the top, that's the numerator, and there we have it. So once I get to this place, it gets kind of cool, because once my denominators match and I've done all the work on top, the numerator, I can scratch this out, and now I get to solve this problem regularly. Now I'm going to distribute. Distribute means multiplying this thing in, so 6 times x, 6 times 3. So I end up with 6x plus 18 equals uh, 19x. I'm going to subtract my 6x on both sides to group them together. When we group our x's, you should always be thinking subtraction and, uh, subtraction and addition. 19 minus 6 is 13. Oh, this is where you start panicking because it looks like fractions have entered into the scene, which they have. There are fraction answers for literally almost every single one of these problems, with a few exceptions. So I subtract, or I divide my 13, that cancels out, that cancels out, and I end up with x equals 18 over 13. So I'm going to put it in my answer blank, so I have this here. Um, how do you know if you got the right answer? Well, because I put the key up. So on top of these videos, you now have the key up as well, too. So make sure your answers are, like, you know, kind of separate from your work, so it's not too hard to find. There they are. Um, and that's going to be my working number one you should be able to now do number two on your own. I'm not going to help you on number two, but there is a key online, so check key for answers. Check key for answers. All right, that's the end of the first video.